it's hard. Your whole life changes in an instant when you hear those words that, you know, you have Alzheimer's disease. I put together a treatment team after I got diagnosed. I had my uh, neurologist, my general practitioner, I had a speech therapist, I have a life coach who I see weekly. So all those people were involved in terms of my treatment. A lot of mentoring is helping people to understand, no, you can't do all the things you did do, but you still can do a lot. You still have a lot to be thankful for. People who are living with dementia should not be excluded from the rest of the society. That's just not right. We have just been taken down a road in this particular family of conditions that the person doesn't have anything to offer. People are proving that wrong. It's having the hope that you can make a difference in the lives of people with dementia because we really know now that that person is still there. In a person-centered model of care, we try to cater everything that we do to that individual resident's likes and wants. When you're a great care partner, you're always anticipating that other person's need. I've learned that you really have to look for a community that fits to the individual as opposed to the individual fitting to the community. When you can find a place where your loved one can be and are treated with the kindness that you want, then that gives you this big relief. Coming here, my mom can be who she is.